everyone and welcome to my channel, Megan Victoria. My name is Megan. I'm a pro hair makeup artist and I put up two videos a week on Tuesdays and Thursdays. And in today's video, it is TIFF! So, I pretty much have been like not going to any TIFF events because I just have not been in the mood for low vibrational schmoozing and like, you know, influencer -y stuff. But I do have a bunch of events today, some that I'm actually really excited for. So, I wanted to just do a very quick and easy but effective glam. So I'm all about skin, we all know this, and when I say glam, in my head it means gloss, lashes, and perfect skin. So that is what I kind of focus on, a really simple, simple eye, some good liner, a great lash, and then obviously glowy, bronzy skin that's gonna last you from dusk till dawn. A really long-lasting makeup for when I have meetings and a bunch of things to do in the day. And I wanna look glam, I wanna look mega victory -y, but I don't wanna put in a ton of effort, I don't wanna beat my face for 45 minutes like just you know blending eyeshadows so if you want to see this very effective simple quick and easy glam then please just keep on watching oh my god the fact that we are filming with a robe I don't know how I feel but you know what it's chilly today and we gotta get moving so let's get started it's already flawless filter oh my god what a unique and ingenuitive concept I don't know Feel like this is gonna be one of those videos guys so strap in but let's apply this all over the face I probably should have done my brows but what else is new okay so for foundation I'm going to be taking should I mix them I feel like I maybe should mix them have I mixed this before I don't even know I think it'd be kind of cute though we're gonna mix the matte velvet skin with the Estee Lauder I don't really know why I feel like this one's a little bit like it's matte but it's glowy and then I've just been really liking the Estee Lauder they're very similar color actually I feel like this is a lot but whatever it's fine we're just gonna take it on our sponge and work in kind of small little sections I don't want a ton of foundation but at the same time I want like a really flawless base have many things to attend today so we need our makeup lasting a very long time right now i'm just taking up some salmon concealer to color correct the under eyes now a new product well it's not new to like the world but it's new to me so nara sent over a bunch of their radiant creamy concealers they're like little mini guys they're actually like so cute um but i really have been playing around with them and enjoying them and i've never tried them even though i know it's such a cult classic so I'm gonna take some of the shade Custard, yeah, and apply it like this, just to get a little bit more coverage, especially around the nose and the chin and the redness on the sides of the mouth, and maybe a little bit here. Just like that, and then we'll blend that in. I've been wearing these concealers like just on the everyday, you know, like a tiny bit of concealer under my eyes, but I haven't done like a glam with them. But like, damn, the finish is so nice. Like it really looks like very like, um, I hate saying like skin like finish, but it does. It just looks like very healthy. I think it really goes well with the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet. It's a very similar kind of finish. It's yeah, it's like a radiant matte, like which sounds so stupid because it doesn't really make sense, but <laughs> It just means like not drying and not like chalky matte. That looks really good. Okay, I'm super happy with that. For me, I'm all about skin. I know you guys know this, but I love face makeup. I love like really just flawless skin. So I spend the most time on it, and especially for an event. I feel like everyone's staring at your face. Like they're not like, you know, staring at their eyeshadow like that close up, but your skin, like I want that to look like really good. I'm completely being unnecessary, but the NYX concealer in Alabaster, it's just fantastic. It's super light and I just feel like I just need that little bit of like really intense highlighting and I know this looks like literally white but that's what I need. I just need like there's brightening and then there's like literally highlighting. So we're gonna use some light just to really bring forward our features. Yeah, see, I can already tell I like this. And the problem is if you use this straight away, it's gonna look gray as hell because you don't have the warmth underneath to give you that coverage and make it look like natural. 
but just like a couple dots of like a super light concealer I'll just really lighten everything up i'll just go around the center of the face see i just feel like with my cheekbones and everything just look lifted and the face looks more dimensional which makes me feel like more comfortable okay so we're gonna take some charlotte tilbury magic powder i've been taking this on my sponge sometimes for my under eyes just like dab the excess off and then i just really set the under eyes I change my makeup technique like literally like every week so <laughs> keep coming back because you'll always see me doing something different i don't know i just feel like your skin changes and then it needs different things like right now i've just been really like enjoying like you know a good set under the eyes and i'm like oh like maybe it's like because it's summer and my eyes are less dry than normal i don't know but i just i've been liking how it looks i think it looks nice and bright it just looks good okay so then i'm just going to take my all over whatever's leftover powder and just swirl that on the face just so everything's lightly set i'm going to events today and i'm also doing a photo shoot and when i have that i want my makeup a little bit more dramatic than like my you know everyday whatever so when you guys usually see me do a big bronzer it's like a big bronzer if i have an event like i will take a smaller brush and i will chisel a little bit so that's what we're going to do we're still going to keep the nice light shade like this nars bronzer but I'm just gonna massage that on the cheekbone. So now I'm getting a little bit more of an intense chisel, but because we set the powder prior, it's still gonna give us a nice soft look and nice and well blended, even if it's like more of a power contour. Then as always, I'm gonna bring it all the way around the forehead. It's amazing by just changing your brush, the different effect you can get with the same product. Like you guys know I use this bronzer and it's super light, but you can see when I really go in with a brush, we really get that definition and sculpt, which is like fabulous. So I'm just gonna deepen it the tiniest bit just with the faux tan bare minerals. This bronzer's like, this is dark for me. So I'm just gonna use a little bit just to really get that chisel going on. Okay, so we are well defined, so I'm going to take a little bit of my Gold Rush blush. I love this blush because I just think on my skin tone in particular, it doesn't look too much. It just looks extremely like natural and soft, and you're not being like, oh, she's wearing a shit ton of blush. I just think it's very forgiving. I think that's the word. It goes really well with bronzer. It has that same similar kind of rosy undertone where it just looks really, really pretty. And then when I don't want to do it like too much, then I'll just take a little bit of my orgasm blush and I'll just apply that on top again not too blushy but just a little bit of glowiness to the cheeks okay so like I've really slowed down my highlighting game I used to highlight way more intensely and I'm sure you guys all know this um but when I go out I love a good highlight so the one I've been loving is the pure barbie palette edition limited edition <laughs> the pure barbie highlight it's so freaking pretty um, it has a bunch of different shades, but you guys know I love a good rosiness. This is like a little dark, um, especially when I wear like a full coverage foundation. When I still have my skin peeking through, it's fine, but I wore the Barbie. You'll see, I have a Barbie video coming up very, very shortly, but I'm just going to take a little bit of all of them. Why not? And this highlight is honestly so stunning. Like, come on, man. Look at that. Like, it's not for the faint of heart. It's like, it's out there. But it is so, so freaking pretty. Um, yeah, but you almost want to use it like if you're near my skin tone, kind of like a blush topper. Like mix it in with the blush. You're not going to want to put it like everywhere. Like even if I put it on the tip of my nose, it's going to look like I put orange on the tip of my nose. So I'm just going to grab my little gold guy and I'll do that for the tip of my nose and my nose bridge. And whatever's left over, obviously on the brush will kind of come along with it. And then I'm just going to sponge it in to make sure it's really like part of the look and it's not just like sparkles sitting on my face. I become so mature with my highlighter. <laughs> who, the, who knew this day would come? Really quickly before we move any further, I'm just going to take a little bit of my NARS Press Powder and I'm just going to kind of clean up under the cheekbones. I want, again, a nice chiseled look. So I just take a little bit of that powder just on my sponge and just kind of work it all together and just make sure the bronzer's not coming down too far and everything's kind of in place and good. Okay, now we're going to do a little setting spray. I'm going to pop on some brows and then we'll move on to the eyes. That looks so nice. Yes. All right, so I'm just going to tap out any of my concealer. 
Honestly, when I go out, eyeshadow is like the least of my concern because nobody's really looking at your eyes. And once my face is done, I feel good. So I'm honestly just going to take a little bit of my NARS bronzer, whatever bronzer you have. I'm going to define the crease like just a little bit, adding a little bit of warmth, but like nothing crazy. And then once I've done that, I'll go back to my highlighter, get a little bit of this like rosy, goldy, whatever, and work that onto the eye as long as my eyes kind of have a rosiness and they look nice and glowy and obviously i love a good little bit of rose gold pinky kind of color because it just pops my blue eyes so that's really all i require for like my eyeshadow and then sometimes because i have this brush i'll flip it over i'll take a little bit of that bronzer and i like a little bit of warmth right under the eyes just to define it as well Okay, but that is the entire eyeshadow look done. It's literally so simple. Now, what I do do when I'm going out and I need to like, you know, make a statement but not take a ton of time is a good liner. So I'm just gonna give myself two like dramatic big wings and a big lash and that's the eyes. So let's do that. grab a little bit of our highlighter again just do a little all of them <laughs> and I'm just gonna pop a little sparkle in the inner corner perfect our eyes are dazzling they're super freaking glam and they didn't take forever and we didn't have to blend our eyeshadow for 20 freaking minutes so well done everyone so now we're gonna move on to lips while these finish drying so for lip i've honestly fallen back in love with the pure hollywood liquid lipstick from anastasia beverly hills it is like a cult classic but it is so freaking good so let's line our lips um what i've been enjoying doing especially for this one is i don't want my lips too dark i want kind of light and soft so i start with my hush hush lip liner like normal then i'm going to switch to a lighter one so this is incognito so let's just do that Why, yes, I do very badly need to sharpen this liner. Absolutely. All right, so now we're going to move on to Stealth. I'm going to just put it on top. And combine, it's literally like my lip color. Like, it's just like I'm giving myself lip injections with lip liner. I'm just going to take a little bit of my concealer and clean up the edges because, uh, like I said, I really need to sharpen that liner. On top of this, we're going to take our Pure Hollywood Liquid Lipstick and place it on top. Oh, this is such a good color. I kind of forgot about this one. So freaking pretty. And then, just because, you know, there's always an extra step, I'm going to take my Bare Minerals Peony Lipstick because it's super pretty. And it's just a little bit lighter and I'm just going to pop it in the center. Just like that. And also, one thing that I never forget to do, but sometimes I don't show you on camera just because I do it later on or I forget. I love how I say I don't forget. I don't forget to like do it, but I forget to do it on camp. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, is I'll take my liner and just go over the glue. Just so I get a nice black sharp line. and Everything is nice and even. Also bronze your neck. Like as you can see, my body and my face. Like when I started, my face is like white. My body is like a little bit more tan. My neck, white as shit. So I need to connect all three together. Oh, someone please explain to me how I forgot gloss. Like how? It's me. Um, but this is just the Barbie Pure Gloss. It's just like this really kind of light pink clear, but then has like a gold shimmer. So it's just like a little bit warm. And it's just really pretty. Okay, now we're done. All right, guys, so there we have it. I really hope you enjoyed. I love this kind of makeup. I hope you found it helpful. I think it's a good makeup look just to like have ready to go. You can pull it out whenever you need it, when you just want to look put together, flawless, ASAP. But like I said, you don't want to blend your eyeshadow for 45 minutes. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate all the love and support, and I will see you in my next video. Bye! Mwah.